A good society is not just one where each of us is able to do well for ourselves. It should be one where we all feel a sense of responsibility towards one another, a spirit of caring. Just as we have achieved good outcomes in healthcare, education and security by working together, all of us play a part in building such a society. It starts with strong families. Mr. Gan Tiampo and Mr. Darrell David spoke about the importance of mutual care and support within the family. Indeed, most of our seniors are able to count on their family for support, and we must strive to keep family strong. The enhancements to the proximity housing grant will help to do so. Mr. Desmond Chu and Ms. Tanalashmi spoke about the stress that caregivers face. Caregivers play a vital role in our society and deserve great respect for the support they gave their families. We are committed to supporting caregivers. Besides the financial schemes that defray the cost of caregiving, we also offer tangible support to caregivers through respite services in some of our senior care centres and nursing homes so that caregivers can rest and recharge. We are also expanding the community network for seniors which will better link up different stakeholders with needs in the community. PMO, MOH and MSF will say more about the government's support for caregivers at the COS. Many members, such as Dr Lily Neo and Ms Chia Yong Yong, spoke of the good work that our VWOs do in the community. We recognise the invaluable contributions they make and are encouraging more support for them through a 250% tax deduction for donations made to IPCs, matching grants for donations raised, and the Business and IPC Partnership Scheme. As Ms. Joan Pereira, Ms. Ting Pei Ling, and Ms. Ching Li Hui have suggested, we'll continue to review our policies to enable our seniors to contribute meaningfully, stay active and independent, and age with confidence. But no single stakeholder has the resources to meet the community's needs alone, to address the structural shift in our demographics, or to foster opportunities for all. The consolidation of senior-related services under the Agency for Integrated Care and the continuing efforts to strengthen social service delivery through our social service officers will enable us to do more with the resources we have and better care for our seniors and vulnerable families. As Ms. Rahayu Mazam said, the community's involvement in initiatives like the Civil Generation Ambassadors Programme and Community Network for Seniors is necessary to strengthen our support networks and last mile delivery. That is why this budget seeks to strengthen partnerships between the government and the community and to encourage the spirit of giving in every Singaporean. We want to foster a caring society through the SG Cares movement, bring together individuals, informal groups, community organisations and corporates to partner one another and better reach out to those in need. Ms. Denise Poir asked if we can encourage people to donate their SG bonus. We are studying how to facilitate this and will provide more details later in the year. Everyone can be part of this ecosystem of giving regardless of age or background. I met Ashraf at an ITE graduation ceremony, and Ashraf dropped out of school at primary four as his mother was unwell and did not even sit for his PSLE. North Light School gave him a second chance, which he was determined to seize. He did well enough to move on to ITE, continue to excel, receive a scholarship in 2014 from the BCA, and in 2017, graduated from Singapore Polytechnic. And before NS, Ashraf went back to North Flight School and volunteered his time by supporting the teachers in teaching facility technology and by sharing his experience with his juniors. And he's now in the North Flight School Alumni Council, even while he serves NS. So Ashraf shows us that anyone can give back. And as Mr. Nispoa and Mr. Vikram Nair have reminded us, for those who have done well, it's even more important to think about how you can give of yourself to help others. This partnership and spirit of working together is not just a good to have, 
it is the best way forward towards a nation which shares a set of common values and a better home for all of us.